Hello everyone. Today we are going to be making a quick, easy but delicious catfish pepper soup. For those who don't know, catfish pepper soup is basically fresh catfish cooked in a mixture of onions, garlic and ginger together with a very special condiment which we call the pepper soup spice. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I put everything together. Here I've got my catfish. It has been thoroughly washed and cleaned and I already cut them into slices as well. So if you want to know how I clean my catfish, I already have a video on that. I'll put the link for you in the description box below. I've got one bulb of onion here. This is like a medium sized onion and I have two habanero pepper for the heat and for a little bit of flavor as well. And I'll also be using four cloves of garlic. I'll go ahead and just blend this together first before we proceed to the other step. Alright, so this is well blended. I'm just going to go ahead and set it aside. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of oil in my pan. This is about, let's say, half of a tablespoon of oil. I'm not going to wait for that to get completely hot. I'll go ahead and grate in some ginger inside the oil. All right, so I grated about half of the ginger and I'm going to be using the other half later. So just go ahead and stir it until it becomes aromatic. You are going to literally perceive the smell of the ginger. Then you know it's time to go ahead and add our blended onion. So you are just going to go ahead and cook this also for about 30 seconds to 1 minute. Alright, after that I'd like to add my fish. Then I like to season that with my salt and seasoning powder. You can also use seasoning cubes, it's the same. Also, the final thing I like to add at this point is my crayfish. I know a lot of you will be like, crayfish in pepper soup? Yes, <laughs> try it, it tastes really good. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of mix this together. Be careful, the fish is quite delicate. So go ahead and mix it. So now I've mixed this and the seasoning has coated all the fish. I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. Then I'll let it simmer for about 30 seconds to one minute on a low heat. I want the fish to absorb all that seasoning. Wow, this is smelling good at this point. It's now time to introduce our water. I'm adding about five cups of water here. Don't worry, my water is clean. I'm using the blender I used previously to blend my onions. So just go ahead and mix this a little bit. Before I leave it to cook, I like to add my pepper soup spice. You have to be gentle at this point. Just try to mix it with the water and not the fish. All right, it's now time to leave this fish to cook. I'm going to be leaving it to cook for about seven to 10 minutes or till the fish is fully done on the inside. I like to talk a little bit about the pepper soup spice. This is the most important seasoning for making your pepper soup. So I like to get my own from home, you know, whenever someone is coming to visit me, they bring this for me. However, if you like to buy, it's been sold online on Amazon and you can also get it in your local African store. All right, so this has been cooking for about seven minutes now. The smell has filled the whole house. <laughs> All right, at this point, I'm going to add my remaining ginger. Then I like to add some green bell peppers and red bell peppers. This is totally optional, but you know, I like the color it gives. And finally, I'm going to be adding my basil leaves. And you can also use mint leaves for this as well. So basically, that is it. This is how I make my yummy catfish pepper soup. So I'm just going to leave this to simmer again for about a minute and we will be done. Here we go. This is all done. As you can see, my fish still stayed intact. Look at that. It's not broken into the soup. 
and the main reason is because of what i did initially you remember when i was cooking this i first of all allowed it to simmer inside the onion before i added the water so that was what made the fish stay intact the little steam it received during the process helped it to come together and hold its shape just like you can see here so guys this is how i make my catfish pepper soup you can eat this the way it is you can serve it with your rice or yam or boiled plantains you know the list is endless so guys that is it again for today thank you very much for spending your time with me as usual all the details you need for this recipe can be found in the description box below until next time i'll talk to you shortly enjoy